I have never made a game before. I've been discovering game dev channels like Sam Hogan recently and I'm not gonna lie, they make it seem like making a game is really easy. Now I'm not sure if that's because they're really good at it or if it really is that easy. So I challenged myself to find out. I have 24 hours to not only learn game dev, learn Unity, and learn C Sharp, but to also finish a working prototype of the only game that I play, League of Legends. I began my journey at 1pm on June 16th. So for those who've never played it, League takes place in an arena where two teams battle it out and race to destroy each other's nexus. There are ultimately three lanes, top, mid, and bottom, with a river and jungle separating them. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and create a similar map. Now this was also my first time opening Unity, and I'll admit that it took me an embarrassingly long time to finally understand how to use the train brushes and tools, but once I finally learned it, I started having fun. tackle is camera and movement. League of Legends is not a first person game. Now I'll admit, I had a period where I convinced myself that League of Legends was a 2D game with the logic that if it were 3D, then that would be smite. But then I saw what 2D League would actually look like. Not my brightest moment. So I raised the camera angle, baked the floor, found this guy's tutorial, followed it, and it worked. Thanks VinCodes. I added a character sprite from Unity's asset store, and then of course, I need to animate the movement. I got stuck on this part for a really long time, but it eventually worked. Next I modified the movement code to be more similar to that of League of Legends. I made the player follow my cursor on a click drag, and I wanted there to be a little animation on the part of the ground that I clicked on. This means we're about to have our first experience with Unity's particle system. Yeah, I don't know why I said it like that. I think it's a meme in the world of game dev. Let me ask my friend Danny. Hey Danny, what's up dude? Hey, what's up Trent? So I got this game I'm working on and I was wondering if you could like help me out with it. Oh, yeah, sure. Wait, what? What are you drinking? So I'm working... is, that... is that orange juice? <laughs> It got to a point where I could make the particles start and stop all my clicks, but I couldn't figure out how to change the location. But I decided to move on for now because I was spending too much time on this and I would just come back to it later. Next was our minimap. In League of Legends, the minimap is one of the most important parts of the game. It provides you information about where other players are. So I was drawn in by Bracky's tutorial on minimaps, but it turns out that his idea of a minimap is just a second, very zoomed out camera. I literally look like an ant moving across the screen. But I was running out of time, so let's move on. For the HUD, I kind of just ripped off League. player movements also made a tutorial on cooldowns, so thanks again VinCodes. What's good bro? About 12 hours left to finish League of Legends. It's gonna look like I made no progress, but now look, when you press the abilities, it goes on cooldown. That's kinda sick. It's not League of Legends, but it's not nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna finish it, 12 hours left bro. <laughs> okay. League of Legends has these towers that attack you when you walk by. It's basically Bloom's tower defense, but instead of monkeys hitting objects, it's objects hitting monkeys. I started by placing a rock from Unity's asset store. Then I give it a health bar. Now it has to detect when I'm nearby. And now I decided to try my hand again at the particle system. 
If the tower detects that I'm within range, then it sets the boolean variable true, indicating that I need to be attacked. Then in the update function, it's constantly checking if there's any distance between me and the particle, and if there is, it inches that particle closer towards me. Now let's make our abilities actually do something instead of just going on cooldown. Like I said, I'm gonna try and imitate the skills of the character Ezreal, but in order to not get sued by Riot, let's just call this character Fezreal um, from the game League of Virgins. Ezreal Q, Fezreal Q, Ezreal Flash, Fezreal Flash, Ezreal E, and since his E is low-key the same thing as Flash, I just copy and paste his Flash. A heal, a heal. And finally, Ezreal has a global ultimate which is a skill that goes across the entire map. Here's Fezreal's version, also goes across the entire map. Lee has a bunch of these little midgets walking around called minions. They're kind of like the equivalent of pawns in chess. They tank the tower's damage, and individually, they aren't really that powerful, but when they come together, they can make quite an impact. It's kind of like YouTube trolls. So I got a pawn from the asset store and began coding. I wanted to start by making one minion and have it walk towards the tower, but I had some problems like the minion would walk directly inside of the tower, so I set its destination to be a random spot near the tower. And now that we have one, let's spawn a bunch. Uh, where are these hive minds going? Maybe they're trying to find the real League of Legends map because they hate my version of it. Alright, let's brainwash them a little bit and there we go. That's about as far as it got before I ran out of time. It's a little annoying because I just started picking up momentum. Like, I could finally start doing things without having to look up any tutorials. So, I'm a little disappointed with how far I got, but I can also acknowledge that it was my first time ever trying to make a game, so it could have gone a lot worse. No one wants to do anything on YouTube besides what they're good at. It's the same reason why rappers don't want to freestyle rap, because they don't want anything besides their best to be attached to them. But I'm not insecure, so screw that. I'm willing to do things that I'm bad at. I'll just be the most confused dev on YouTube. Overall, I think Unity Game Dev is pretty easy because I would say that around 80% of my time was spent just debugging really trivial problems. But once I got past that, it became pretty simple. So if I were to ever do another 24 hour challenge, I think I would do a lot better. But I don't even know if anyone wants to see another one of these. So if this video gets 15,000 likes, then I'll make another one of these or maybe I'll make a tutorial on how I learn things pretty fast. So if you wanna see it, like this video. Final update, bro. What time is it? 6.30 p.m. So and you haven't slept. I woke up slept. at 10 yesterday, then it's <laughs> 24 plus 2 plus 6. Wow, I've been awake for 32 hours. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's crazy, dude. No naps either.